have a very large research program in human genetics, uh, trying to find new ways to diagnose, treat uh, patients with cardiac diseases. And we work in areas such as uh, Mendelian disorders of the heart, like dilated cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and inherited arrhythmia syndromes. Well, the TrueSight cardio sequencing kit um, arrived after many years of development and iteration within my group, and we generated it so that we could have a single workflow that would apply to all of our sequencing needs, whether they be in arrhythmia, dilated cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or in actually sequencing large numbers of control populations, because control data is extremely important too. So we went through many years of iterating the design, filling in poorly captured exons, hand annotating exons, and working with experts to make sure that we captured everything that was meaningful. I think this is really important in, a, in using the TrueSight Cardio Sequencing Kit in healthy people because one thing we need to really fully understand is when we find a variant in an individual is is that variant important to disease or is it something that's tolerated as a background genetic variation and the only way to do that is to really very carefully phenotype people, healthy people, and then sequence them and actually follow them up as well. Because that then gives us the background variation on the same kit with the same platform with the same sequencing which we can then apply. So that's of really very strong importance. So the Titan story is something that we've worked on with um, very good um, partners from um, Harvard, from Cricket Seidman's group and John Seidman and other people around the world. And we published in the New England Journal in 2012 that the tith mutations in the Titan gene, these are truncating mutations, are the commonest cause of dilated cardiomyopathy, which is an inherited heart muscle disease with a heart that gets too big and floppy and can't pump properly. And this runs in families and it, and it, and it leads to people having heart failure and they end up requiring heart transplantation. So this was a major finding uh, and we now ha have looked, sequenced this in very large numbers of uh, population controls here in America, in the Framingham Heart Study, in the Jackson Heart Study and also in large numbers of patients. I see the TrueSight Cardio Sequencing Kit being important because it encompasses all genes known to cause um, inherited cardiac conditions. So the mutations in these genes are penetrant, they have effects which count. And I think a vision I would have uh, would be that this was used up front as part of a large-scale clinical trial as a, in addition to the more GWAS approach, looking at common variants, you'd be looking for rare variants in these genes. And I think that would be uh, useful in looking at outcomes and responses and, and actually in stratifying patients for future studies, because it may well be that their genotype predicts the outcome as opposed to their phenotype. Uh, and that's going to be very important in terms of stratified medicine approaches for the future. One reason for generating the, the TrueSight cardio sequencing panel was to be able to be comprehensive in what we do. You may ask why, uh, and the reasons for this uh, are many, but just to illustrate maybe two of those, is one is that these inherited cardiac conditions are not due to a single gene, they're due to multiple genes and multiple large genes, so not just look at one of them. There's current approaches you might see, see sequence one, two, three, maybe four, here we're going to do all of them. So why don't I just use whole exome sequencing or indeed whole uh, genome sequencing? And this is a question that's often put forward. So the reason for this is we want to be sure that we have got everything, that we are at a level where I can put my hand in my heart and say at 20x, I have 20x coverage, I have 100% coverage of the gene that I'm interested in. And that includes exon 1, which is highly GC rich, which other things missed. And we have done head-to-head -head comparison against whole exome sequencing from different vendors and whole genome sequencing, and they don't even come close to what we can do with the TrueSight cardio sequencing panel. Uh, and so we can do it quicker, faster, cheaper, and more comprehensively than we can with exome sequencing. In terms of the extended applications of the kit, um, I think, obviously, you're limited by your imagination here, but one, one area that I think it could really 
show promise for its wider use would be in the molecular autopsy field because within the kit we cover all inherited cardiac conditions from heart muscle disease to cholesterol problems to aortic disease um, and all the arrhythmic syndromes. One thing I'm very excited about is the fact that people, if they start using the same kit, we can compare apples with apples and so we can begin to draw together very large data sets across the communities, clinical communities worldwide and really understand the genetic architecture of disease. So I think that is extremely exciting potential. Thank you.